Okay, welcome to CS101, Introduction to Programming Using Python. This is lab number four, which cover chapter four of our course textbook. So our main objective is to use the loops or repetition control structure to solve two problems. Our first problem is to write a program that calculates the number of money a person will earn over a period of time. If his or her salary is one penny for the first day, then two pennies for the second day, and continues to double each day. Now the program should ask the user for the number of days. Then it's going to display the table showing what the salary, the salary was for each day, then show the total pay at the end of the period. So what we want to do here is that again, we need to use the loop but we don't know how many days. So for example, if it's 30 days, then we can use the loop whereby each day, the salary will be double in the loop. So first thing we do here is to get our input and we need a variable to store our input. So we need three variables here. The first variable is the day pennies. This will be the variable that will store the number of pennies per day. Then we have norm days, that is the number of days the person work. And then we find the total pennies or total number of pennies for the period of, for example, if it's 10 days, then the total pennies that you end for the 10 days. We can divide that by 100, convert it to um, dollars. So those are our three variables. Next, we ask the user now to enter the number of days. So enter the number of days, we convert the days to int. Then we print a table whereby we have days and pennies and there will be a tab between, a tab space between. And the underscore here will be the underline on the heading of the table. Then now this is our for loop here. We say for day in range one to number of days plus one. Now we know that if we are using a range function, mm -hmm. if we say the range is seven, it means from zero to six. Now, if we say the range is from one to 10, it means from one to nine. So that's why we had one to it. So the user may enter 20 days. In order for us to have the 20 days, we say the range should be from one to 21. Now we start from the first day, we get the day pennies, we print the day and then the day penny is divided by 100. We change it to float. And then we find the total pennies. So it's total equal to total plus day pennies. Then the question said each day is going to be double. So here we have day pennies equal to day pennies times two. Again, here we are going to, all these three statements is on that, it's inside the for loop. So we do one at a time. So let's say we start the first day and the first day is one penny. We add it to the total, uh, then we double it. So now we have uh, go to the second day, third day. Uh, we do all the runs, uh, depends on what, what I mean by all runs. We do all the number of days. So if it's 20 days, the loop is going to run 20 times. Then after we get our answers, we are going to display our total answer. So the total salary for the, the number of days we enter will be this is float. The variable total is where we have our total values. So again, we have the total. We double the pennies, divide by 100. Then we add it to the total. So we print the total after the number of days. So that's our first question. Let's see our second question. In our second question, we want to print this pattern. So here they say we should write a program that uses nested loops to draw this pattern. And nested loop means there's a loop inside another loop. So normally, if you have a nested loop, the loop outside, if, it's, if the condition is true once, it will go inside the loop there the loop inside, the loop inside have to execute until it become false, then it goes back to the outside. So that's why we can see here. And first of all, we have a variable character. We assign the asterisk because the asterisk is what we are going to print here. 
then the size, this pattern, we have seven rows, seven columns. So we say the size is seven. Now, this is our outer loop, which would be for the rows. So for row in range size, size is seven. So we go from zero to six, which is also seven. So what will happen is that the first row, we are going into the inner for loop, which will be our column. And the column range also will be the size from seven to the row. The first row is one. So size seven to row one, we decrease by one. Now this for loop have to go seven times. Then each run is going to print the character. Remember the character variable have the asterisks. That's why we're going to print all the seven. So we are going to print the seven characters first. The next is reduced by one. So that means in the next row to continue, we are going to have only six, then reduced by one again, uh, five, four, three, two, one, until the outer for loop is false. If the outer for loop is false, we come out of the loop and that will be the total solution. Now, remember this print also is inside the, it's inside the outer uh, for loop. So this print makes us to move to the next row. Because for example, if we are in the first row, we go inside the for loop for the column, we print reduce by one. We start from seven to one. So each round we reduce seven, six, five, uh, etc. Then we print a character, we print a space between. Each character, there's a space between. Then this will take us to the next row. And this will bring us back to the outer for loop again. So we have to repeat this. And also we are reducing each run. We are reducing by one until we reach the last row. Again, this is a for loop. So it's going to execute seven times outside. So that's the solution. And hopefully we'll see in our next lectures. Thank you.